Hello and welcome to Module 3. In this module, we'll be looking at existing online self-reflection and assessment tools aimed at improving teachers' technology-enhanced teaching competence. I'm joined today by Gunstein Eggerberg from the Norwegian Centre for ICT and Education, who is going to talk to us about Norway's Teacher Mentor, a voluntary tool available to any teacher interested in improving their use of technology in the classroom. Hi Gunstein, thank you for joining us. So why was the Teacher Mentor Service created? As a teacher educator, I have found in Norway that teachers find self-reflection particularly difficult. This is quite striking as reflection is deep within the roots of their profession. But surprisingly, they don't do this. They are very comfortable with evaluating their own practice, but not reflecting on their own learning. This could also be said about most bureaucrats and politicians working in education. In terms of using new technologies in the classroom, teachers lack traditions and reference material to draw on. So this makes self-reflection even harder. Teachers are unsure of what exactly they should be reflecting on. This is no surprise considering technology-enhanced teaching is still subject to much debate even by specialists working in the area. For this reason, the Norwegian Centre for ICT and Education developed the Teacher Mentor to guide teachers in the reflecting process when using technology pedagogically. What is the Teacher Mentor and how is it structured? The Teacher Mentor is a free online service for teachers aimed at guiding them in their self-reflection about how they use technology for teaching and learning. It is based on the self-review framework offered by the National Association of Advisors for Computers in Education in the UK. There are four areas, pedagogy and ICT, digital production, digital communication and digital judgment. And within each area there are three to four sub-areas. For example, under the area of digital judgment there are the following sub-areas, privacy, ethics, intellectual property rights and source evaluation. The framework gives teachers the opportunity to position themselves on a scale in terms of which stage they are at in relation to each sub-area of the digital competence. This helps them identify at what stage of the process they are, what they need to learn to reach a higher level of competence. The teacher mentor is based on Hooper and Reber's teaching with technology model and uses a five-level scale with level one representing teachers' initial familiarization and level 5 representing the evolution stage, which is the most advanced level. Each level contains several statements concerning teachers' knowledge, skills and attitudes in relation to a particular aspect of technology-enhanced learning. By clustering several statements together in one level, attention is created as often teachers will feel that not all statements reflect their situation, making it difficult for them to entirely associate themselves with one particular level. Furthermore, there is also a degree of overlap between the statements at each level. This way of defining the level is deliberate because it encourages teachers to really engage and think about which level most closely reflects their own situation. How long does a teacher mental survey take and how does it work? If teachers take the required time to do this properly, it should take around 30 to 60 minutes to read the statements about the knowledge, skills and attitudes and select each time which level best reflect their situation. At the end of the self-reflection survey, the system informs you of the level you are at in each sub-area and offers you uh, advice on the next steps to take to improve your level. Also available are graphs in different formats which uh, visually illustrates in which areas you have a particular strength or need for improvement. The teacher mentor saves the results of the each teacher's self-reflection survey so that they can go back at any time and review it. Teachers are encouraged then to retake the survey once they have had their chance to implement the advice offered so they can see how much progress they have made. What are the main strengths of the teacher mentor? The main benefits of the teacher mentors are for the individual teachers themselves. Sphere Close to Teachers Practice is one of the few tools that actually deals with teachers' reflections and self-awareness, rather than focus on assessment and evaluation. This means that there is little point in comparing results, even though it's actually possible to compare yourself to a national mean. I think this is the main reason why teachers often respond positively to the teacher mentor. 
A couple of years ago, I was involved in a course on digital literacy for in-service teachers' education. One of the teacher trainee tasks was to complete a teacher mentor survey and to write a reflection note. From these notes, the teacher said things like, after completing the teacher mentor, I have learned a lot about my own level of digital competence, or I have become aware of my strengths and weaknesses, or I now have a better picture of what I need to improve and how to go about this. Finally, teachers like the fact that their service mirrors actual classroom practice in wording they are familiar with. This made it easy for them to identify with the levels. What, in your opinion, are the weaknesses of a teacher mentor? The teacher mentor does not cover all possible aspects of how technology is used in the classroom. The selection is made based on Norway's basic skills framework. However, important aspects like how teachers use technology in student assessment, how they utilize technology in collaboration and problem solving, and even how they develop their basic technological skills are not part of the teacher mentor. It's a danger that teachers view the content of the teacher mentor as fully representative of what makes up technologically enhanced teaching. After having completed the survey and received feedback, teachers are not provided with any further support. Training material, online resources, and maybe even various courses given by companies or universities could definitely be useful additions to the existing survey. What has been the impact of the teacher mentor? It is difficult to measure large-scale effects on a national level resulting from a self-reflection service like the teacher mentor. Teaching is such a complex profession that to isolate one factor is often impossible. However, teachers who I have taught during the in-service teacher training and who have used the service generally give the teacher mentor credit for improving their level of competence and for helping them to identify where they should direct their efforts to make progress. Why not have a go yourself? There is a demo version of the Teacher Mentor available in English, so anyone can have a go. All you need to do is go to www.lerementor.no and then select English from the drop-down menu on the top right-hand corner. Next, click on the demo on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and then you are ready to start. Remember that at the end of the survey, you can export your answers to Word, PDF, Excel, PowerPoint or HTML. You can then print and review them in your own time to help you with your self-reflection. Enjoy and good luck!